Running over me. I think I flopped the Ferguson there. out, flops, flop. block again, and extends his lead. More from the Caesars Palace Poker Room after this. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Along with a half a million dollars, our winner will take home an A-Bell watch courtesy of John Paradiso Jewelry. In addition to winning the cash and the watch, the National Heads Up Poker Champ also receives a $10,000 entry to the World Series of Poker's 2008 main event, which they could parlay into another $8 million. Like our boy Jerry Yang. Jerry Yang eliminated earlier in this year's event. Andy has called with 8-5. Suited connectors for Chris. Chris checks. Smaller variety of suited connectors. <laughs> Flop is queen a6. Nut low draw for Chris Ferguson. Too bad we're not playing Omaha high low. 25. Andy bets 25,000. Now this is one of the few limp pots we've seen so far in this match. I can, I'm going to fold this. That yeah. makes it harder Good to represent an ace Good or a night. queen. I have the nut low, even though I have, you have a really runner flush draw. A straight flush draw. Four five. I don't run a straight flush draw. You can still this. Lucky for Andy, Chris didn't have anything to do battle with as he lays it down and gives Block the pot. So Andy trying to chip away at his deficit here in the first match. This is a best two out of three here at the final table. Andy still looks a bit discouraged to me. He started this match out so well, building up an early chip lead. And at this point, he's down over three to two to Chris. The line's still at 10 and 20,000. Chris with queen tray. Puts in a raise to 50,000. Jack nine for Andy. And Andy calls. Bit of a loose raise from Chris Ferguson. Doesn't want to start limping in now, though, and look at this flop. Flop, ace, queen, tray. Two pair for Ferguson. Well, that's all fine and dandy, but he's not going to get paid off by Andy. Chris bets 65,000. Running well in poker takes two components, not only making good hands, but getting your opponent to make hands he can pay you off with. And you're right, no big payout there for Chris. He takes down a small pot. <laughs> you can share. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll share whoever wins. I just think it's fun being being here, you know. I mean, this is a... Uh, never think, uh, you know, w when we met each other more than 10 years ago? Never. <laughs> we'd be, I never imagined that, exactly. You know, maybe, but, I mean, it's something that you would dream about. This is it, exactly. <laughs> Serena sisters playing each other. <laughs> Andy suited with 6-4, he, he calls. Chris checks with Andy queen Christ. five, and the flop nine tray nine, 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 a flush draw for Andy. Chris is checked. 25. And Andy bets 25,000. Chris folds. Do you swore this time? Hmm? No, I had a queen. Give you lots of respect with my queen. Well, in 2007, Paul Wasica was the last player invited to the Heads Up tournament, and he went on to win. That's something Andy Block is trying to do this year. This is a tournament I most look forward to every year. I wanted to qualify so badly that I was willing to play a $500 qualifying tournament here at Caesars to try to get in. And I lost that, but the writer's strike ended. Brad Garrett had to get back to work, and the spot opened up, and I was next in line to take it. We were actually joking at the table, how much would the seat go for? And I know I would pay at least $50,000 to play in this, and I think uh, it could go for a lot more. It's more important to get invited back next year than it is to win. You know, this really has become one of the most prestigious events on the poker calendar. Andy said he cared more about getting invited back than winning, and I think he may have meant it. Yeah, absolutely. The half-million-dollar first-place prize is nice, but the reality is most of these professionals who get invited to the event are worth enough to not have that be what matters to them. It's more the opportunity to challenge themselves and take home the accolade. Chris put in a raise with a six, one that Andy called. Flop is nine, seven, ace. A pair of aces for Ferguson. A pair of nines for Andy. He's going to check. Chris checks. 
Occasionally, I'd like to see these guys lead out with second pair in these raised pots just to see what their opponent will do, gather information, or win the pot right there. Chris puts in a bet, 75,000. Two over cards to the nine now for Andy. Yet he decides to make the call. Yeah, it's tough to instantaneously give your opponent credit for an ace or a king. River pairs kings on the board. Check. Andy checks. Chris has aces and kings with no kicker. He's going to play it safe by checking in case yep. Andy had made That's running good. kings. Well, Chris takes down another pot to add to his chip lead. Now a better than three to one chip lead for Chris Ferguson in this first in the best of three here at the final table. Andy Stack continuing to head in the wrong direction. Andy Block. Sue to Queen Deuce for Andy. He calls. Pocket eights for Chris. You'll notice that Andy is limping in three out of the last five hands. As his stack gets shorter and shorter, he can ill afford to put in pre-flop raises and make continuation bets. Chris has raised it up to 70,000. 70, Andy may be tempted to think that Chris is just trying to bury him here. Can't always give your opponent credit for a hand. Andy calls. Andy makes the call. And the flop. Oh, it's a huge eights flop. A set of eights for Chris, and Andy flops a flush draw. Chris checks. And Chris is going to slow play the set, checking over to Andy. 100. Andy's going to bet 100,000. And this is a big chunk of his remaining stack. We could see Chris try to put Andy all in right here. Chris calls. And now Andy's got to be on high alert. Chris makes the call. Here's the turn. And Andy makes his flush on the turn. Oh, boy. This is going to mean an all-in for sure. Chris puts Andy all Chris in. Chris bets call. to put Andy, Andy all calls. in. And Andy quickly calls. Set of <laughs> I got outs. I got outs. <laughs> what a call back That's there. That's interesting. <laughs> Whatever it is, call back. The outcome of match one in this best of three hangs in the balance. If Chris Ferguson can hit a pair on the board, he will take the 1-0 lead. Instead, it's a queen of hearts, and Andy Block doubles up. <laughs> How much do you have there? Yeah, less than you bet. Chris Ferguson was just a river card away from taking the first. That river card went the way of Andy Block, who's doubled up to pull back to just about even. Welcome back to Caesars Poker Room and the National Heads Up Poker Championship. It figured that when these two players got all in for the first time, they'd both have big hands. Andy Block turned a diamond flush and doubled up through Chris Ferguson's set of eights. Let's go back to the final table. And Leanne, they're just about back to even. Blind still at 10 and 20,000. Thanks to the Vonage Heads Up Pocket Cam, we can see Chris's king five, and he raises to 50,000. Chris Ferguson raises on the back. Andy with 9-7. And Andy calls. Flop is Jack 5-4, middle pair for Chris. Andy's got the only diamond in his hand. Both players check. Turn is an eight of spades. And that's a conservative check by Chris Ferguson on the flop in position. Andy bets 75,000. That's a big turn card for Andy Block. He can now make the best hand with a six or a 10 to make a straight, a diamond to make a flush, or a seven or a nine to make a pair. He's almost a favorite. Ferguson folds and Andy takes down the pot. You wonder whether or not Chris didn't pick up on something in Andy there. He got away from those fives very easily.
Andy Block getting the Miyagi Rally 